First thing you will need to do is type ebook reader Google Play on 2015 Fire and then choose first. You should come up with this site. This is the guide I'm going to be following. Give you warnings. Disclaimer says this has been tested and working on Fire OS 5.01. Um, you need to go to your file, open it up. Right, first off, you need to make sure you're on the firmware what you need, which is 5.01. What you need to do on your file, go to your settings, when it comes up, you go to device options. System update. When you get to your system updates, your device should be running on OS 5.01. If it's not, you will need to upgrade to that particular firmware. Right, the first thing to do would be to install Google Play. So if you scroll down a little bit from where it says about the 5.1. How to install Google Play. What we ask you to do is download this zip from this root drunkest site, 58 meg, download that. Okay, so that's downloading. Okay, the download is completed. Go back to your desktop. It's gone into a zip folder, so I extract it to file name. Just make a little box. And then there should be what you need to make it. Next part of this, you have to go back to your Kindle. Home back on your Kindle, it's the settings button. Tap the device options. So I find the device options. And it says tap serial number seven to ten times. You can't really read that, but that's saying you're one tap away from development options. When you've tapped it that far, you'll get development options pop up. Okay, tap developments. Scroll down from the top, debugging. You have to enable ADB. So click the little switch. Enable ABD. Come up with. advanced options so click that when it's gone yellow next you need to go back to your PC plug your fire tablet into your PC with the USB cable provided and check the box that pops up to confirm the ADB connection to your tablet let's do that now okay first time plugging this in it says fire is connected to a low power charger. You should be able to click my PC up here. You should be able to find your fire. Internal storage. Okay, once you're sure what the your computer has found the fire, which it has, open the folder what you just made from the download. Inside that you should have the Amazon fifth gen install play store and what you need to do is click the file called one install play store this should bring you up with this now what it's doing is actually installing the play store onto your device i think what you have to do first is press one and enter one properly press any key to start the install okay after running that I've got 
the fire come up, but it's got a question, well, explanation mark on it, so we do. Let's go update driver software. Browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of computers. And then what you need to find is the ADB interface. That which is a Samsung Android composite ADB interface. Get next. Yes. Close. Now you can see what the ADB interface is at the top. Right then, still in the fire tool. Right, so we're restarting yet again. Yeah, it's got definitely got the device now because the module number is coming up every time. And now what we do, we say option two, install Google Play Store and remove ads from the lock screen. So hopefully now this is running. It says first we must turn on the API debugging tool. I think we've actually done that just a minute ago. Now, when you come down here onto your Kindle, and it'll say what well, VL USB debugging. Um, I'm going to click always allow this on this device. That's there. And OK. Go back up to the computer. Click enter, I suppose. Installing app one of four. I'm thinking this may take some time, so I pause it here. Okay, that's two or four. That was quick. Three or four is quick. Four or four. That's pretty quick as well. The first one didn't take much longer than about 20 seconds, I suppose. Right, just hit success. Come back up to all apps installed and permissions reset. Also removed of your ads from the lock screen. You're welcome. Please reboot the device to fully remove VADs and then sign in to Play Store. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Okay, and there it is right there, the Google's Play Store. Add to Google account. Now, I wonder if that's going to work. It's doing new. Let's connect my. I'll just put my passcode in. See if you can't connect. Connected. Do this quickly. First name, last name, etc. In New York. Bound by terms and conditions. Okay, in. Find me later on that crap. Don't want to pay for nothing. That's why I'm going to jailbreak it later. Agree to the terms and conditions. There you go. Google Play Store on the Amazon. Games. Um. Categories, top selling. Top news. So that's much more handy to have on your old Amazon. And that's without actually jail breaking it or rooting it or anything. Without, I don't even know if I'm going to even bother rooting it now. Anyway, so it proves it works. Hope this guy's been good. 
and I'll see you all next time. Right, next also I'm going to use this software again and use option 3 to block OTA updates. Uh, OTA updates are over the air updates. Okay, now the updates are blocked as well. You can un actually unblock them with this software as well. That's good. Okay, just resetting the fire after the update. It's the first time it's been started with Google Play actually installed. Hopefully it'll still work. to that. Let's see on the computer it still says fire. Internal storage. Still got all of the folders in there. That's good. Now let's put something good on there like a SNES emulator. Okay. Type SNES. All these emulators are safe so it's pretty good. We've got the load game everything, let's go and get a game. Favourite site, um, yeah, something like Prince of Persia. Right, we've got my game, load game, I think we downloaded Bluetooth. Yeah, Prince of Persia. Zip. There you go. Now, isn't that worth thirty-five pound? I think so. Well, have a go at doing it. Um, the website's in the description below. Um, it's a very easy guide. Don't take any responsibility if it messes up for you and it breaks anything. I don't think it's going to be able to. It's obviously in virus three, even though it's told you to turn off your virus scanner. It makes this little tablet well worth it, especially on Black Friday, especially since most places have got a whole week of Black Friday. So go out, buy yourself a £35 tablet and get a very good Android device. I might try and jailbreak it, I don't know if there's any point now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.